you may not be able to make love to your partner on the same day you solemnized your marriage. That is on that wedding day. It's okay. This might be as a result of tiredness or probably your wife starts seeing her period. It's all right. Whether it takes you a week or two after your wedding solemnization to consummate your marriage, it is still your wedding night or it is still your first night after wedding. So you don't have to feel bad about that. Mistakes you must avoid as a newly married man. So I'm going to be sharing with you about 12 mistakes you must avoid as a newly married man. So quickly, number one will be as soon as that wedding is over, it is not time for you to begin to hang out with friends. You want to thank you for coming and all of that. As soon as the reception is over, go with your wife to that particular place you have arranged for the both of you to stay for that night. It is advisable you actually look for a guest house because of too many visitors that will be in your house on that day. So the both of you need an alone time. So don't do the mistake of taking your wife down to your house when you have a lot of people that have come for this wedding. That is one mistake you must avoid. Two, pray together with your wife. Before anything, you hold your hands together. Thank God for the success of the marriage. A lot of people have come to grace this occasion from far and wide and even within the neighborhood. It is not easy for people to come to celebrate with you. And they came in safety and they are going back in safety. Thank God for what he has done and for those of them that are still on their way. Thank him for you know, bringing the both of you together after all said and done. You have a lot of prayer points to make that very day. Now that you have done praying, do not make the mistake of not praying. The third point will be, allow your wife to undress you. Brother, allow your wife to undress you from your head to your toe. This brings the both of you together. Let her admire you. Pull off from the coat to the inner one, to the shirt inside, to the singlet, to your everything from your up to your down. Let her undress you completely. And you will also do the same to her. Both of you admire each other's nakedness. You don't have to shy away from it. This is reality.com. The way you start up that very night, we go a long way to how this, your marriage journey will be as far as love making an intimacy is concerned. So don't be in a hurry to, <clears throat> no. The fourth point will be, bro, shave every shaveable. If you didn't shave it right from the house, which is advisable, you shave from your house. You know that that day is going to be your wedding day. You don't want anything to come in between whatever you're going to do that day, as the case may be shave but if you didn't shave at home but adventure come in with your shaving stick let your wife shave for you shave everywhere and down there those places need to receive a lot of air they are supposed to be a lot of freedom so that everything will be smooth you understand what i mean very important my next point will be take your birth together as couple it is not always easy for the ladies, but because you are the man, you have to encourage her. And that is the reason I made the, the point I made previously of both of you undressing yourself and all of that. All of these activities, as you are doing them, it helps the both of you to relax. It tells the lady that you have got her back. You relax. The whole pounding of heart, a lot of things 
goes on in the mind of newly wed couples. So when you do that, you tell your woman, I am in charge, I know what to do. Just relax and be okay. Take your back together. Scrub her, let her scrub you. Enjoy the moment. Very, very important. So that you can be able to look back at your honeymoon and it is memorable. It is something that you can talk about every now and then. And it excites the both of you. The next one will be switch off your phones. Switch off your phones. In this era of technology, a lot of men, a lot of people get engrossed with their phone. That is when you'll be pressing it. It is not time to begin to answer return missed calls. It is not time to begin to read text messages. This is business time. It is time for seriousness. Switch off that phone and keep it aside. Your partner will do the same thing. The next point will be allow cool romantic music to be playing at the background to charge the atmosphere. You know the kind of romantic music you love. You know the kind of cool music you love. Let it be playing at the background. It is not a scene. It is not a scene. You are in the mood of, you know, consummating this love that has brought the both of you together. It's very important. As the music is playing, the both of you can be dancing. Just lead this your wife. Admire her, tell her some beautiful things and all of that. You can rock to the music and, you know. Then, the next point will be, have some cold drink. It could be juice, it could be milk, and it could also be cold water. It is advisable that you take this juice before the action will start. It's also good you take it after the action. It helps you to also calm your nerves. Calm your nerves. So you take some and give some to your partner. It could be wine. Choose to make that moment very sweet. Kids, okay. So the next point will be, then begin the foreplay with your partner. One thing you need to understand as a man is, your makeup is totally different from your, woman, your woman's makeup. You have to get her in the mood. As a man, you are ready almost at every point in time. But it is not the same with sister. It is not the same with this your wife. So you need to play with her. And that is the reason all of these activities will help you. Play with her, caress her, kiss her. You know, every fondle her, make her feel at home. All of this makes her to relax and get her lubricated so that when you go into Jerusalem, it will be very easy. Whether it is your first time or not, this helps to lubricate and make the place easy to enter. Then the next one is, don't be in a hurry to rush her. Take it easy so that the both of you will reach orgasm at the same time. That's the peak of your enjoyment. If you as the man only enjoys lovemaking, it is not complete. But if you carry your wife along and the both of you reach it at the same time, or she even reaches it before you, it is very sweet. Don't be in a hurry. That's the next point. Because these excitements are, you know, ooh, 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 ooh. don't be in a hurry to practice everything you have read on books or everything you have heard, everything you have watched in a movie. Mm -mm. You want to do different types of style. No, you have her for life. Just take it simply and be gentle with her. Don't rush. If you rough handle her, that will make her hate love making for the rest of the time she's going to be in this marriage. And you wouldn't want that at all. But if you take it gently with her, that encourages her and makes her to feel more relaxed and more willing and more yielding, more open to take you in. 
Okay? So, the next one is don't be stereotype, bro. Don't be spiritual in this aspect because there are some brothers that are like that. Learn from her. She, she too must have read, she, have, she must have watched, she, some people must have also educated her, just like you yourself. The ones you don't know, let her teach you. The one you don't know, teach her. Because a woman knows the parts that are very sensitive to her. So learn from her, don't be stereotyped. Maybe you just keep on kissing her and she try to direct your hand to some places. Don't draw your hand and say, mm -mm, I must just be doing the mm -mm, mm -mm. That's being what? Stereotype. Have an open heart so that you have a place. Now, the next one will be take your time before you come. You understand what I mean? Take your time before you come. But most times, at the first time, men tend to come quickly because the excitement is too high. Don't worry. Don't beat yourself up. It is very common with the first time. And this may continue for some few more weeks before you want to stabilize. Because the both of you are still learning yourself. So don't be depressed. Don't feel as if, hey, why did I just do this now? No. Then the next one will be, as soon as you have come, please, 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 don't just come off your wife. Stay there for some more seconds. Tell her beautiful nonsense. Tell her beautiful things. Sing to her. Tell her beautiful words. Before you can now gently calm down. While you continue gisting, telling her about how the moment was. And you both can fall asleep and wake up the next morning refreshed. Remember, don't be in a hurry. And I wish you a blissful marriage.